Hey guys, Ninja Noah 5 here from Piggy Chicken Gaming, and I'm here for another episode of 52 Weeks. Um, so sadly, this week, I am here alone because Nick, or Razlight789, is on vacation. It's so sad. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be doing it by myself. So, you probably saw by the title, of course. Um, today I'm showing you all the game rules. Well, actually, not all of them. I am showing you half of them today and next week and next week's episode I will show you the rest of them hopefully with Razlight so I'm just going in order so don't like yell at me like hey that was more important put it at the front oh shut up uh yeah so let's get right into it okay the first one first you have to type slash game rule of course and then you can hit tab and it shows you all of these so you can type command block output and remember caps do count so they have to be there or it won't work so for most of these you can just type true or false after the end like that oops <laughs> like that um and that will change it so uh command block output that's basically if you press the command block it'll say in like gray text in the chat like whatever the command was so if you want to turn that off, you do false, and I suggest you do do that if you're doing anything with command blocks. Next one is uh, do daylight cycle. So if you turn it to false, the sun will keep on its rotation and go around. But if it's on true, wait, no, sorry, all the way around. Uh, if it's on true, it'll uh, move, and if it's on false, it'll do this. It'll just stay there in one spot. And if you're wondering how to get it to that perfect height, it's time set 6,000. So that's how it gets up right in the middle. So the next one we have is do entity entity drops. So um, basically, if you kill a mob or a player, I believe, um, it will or won't drop any of its loot. So if I like summoned a zombie or something and I killed it, um, if I did true, it would drop like rotten flesh, and if I did false, it wouldn't drop anything, and I'm pretty sure that works on players too. Uh, okay, yeah, the next one is fire tick. So, you've probably seen this one used before. So, if you light a fire or anything like that, like say I lit it on Frank's house, which is still not built yet, um that would determine if the fire would like spread from block to block to block all over the place if it's false it'll just stay in one place it won't move which is very helpful uh... the next one is do mob loot so that's the same as entity drops basically except it's not for players so it'll just keep the um... the mobs will not drop anything but the players will but it's actually really useful. Okay, the next one, mob spawning, or do mob spawning. So, um, if you're in, well, say we're in a world like this. You know how there's always slimes everywhere? Oh, that's so annoying. So if you do do mob spawning, um, that'll actually make it so no mobs will just randomly spawn around you. Um, so, yeah, that's helpful if you don't want anything to be around you but you still want to be able to spawn like hostile mobs uh... yeah that'll help you out a little bit uh, <laughs> here we are. uh... do tile drops so um... there's a bunch of uses for this so if you're in like survival and you're mining up a block if you mine it up and it's false um... it won't drop the block but if you're building something in creative, like if you're doing redstone, say you uh, built something like that, and you had redstone, okay, that was nice, you had redstone on top of it, if you want to just get rid of something quickly and not have to break the redstone first and have it drop all over the place, you can just do that and it won't drop it, which is very useful. Um, that's what I usually use when I'm doing command blocks. Uh... Oh. So the next one is keep inventory. You probably already know what that is. Keep inventory, you die. You keep all your stuff if it's true. 
if it's false you drop it all over the place uh... yeah <laughs> uh, um, so let me just uh, fix that there we go okay last one log admin command now i'm not too positive about how this works but by what i know um, if you're on a server or something like that and you type in a command if you're like an op um, I'm not really sure how it works I think it'll just make it so it doesn't write down like every single command you do in the console so that's don't don't make fun of me if that's not right because I haven't really used that a lot I'm just telling you what I know uh, so yeah that's about it for this first half. Um, if you want to see the next half, by next week I'll put the uh, link in the description. Um, and yeah, so you can go play around with the rest of these if you want, or you can just wait till next week. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And uh, hope Razlite comes back next week. I miss him so much. Yeah, so. Uh,